Good day, folks, and welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. This is absolutely nuts. You are going to see a sitting U.S. congressman call for Trump's elimination on national TV and an MSNBC host say that Trump is calling for other people's execution. This is classic projection within a day of each other showing you just how bad this is. But fortunately, MSNBC and other mean stream I said that right, mainstream, not mainstream, mainstream media outlets are losing their power. Every time he talks, he's uh, putting himself into a bigger criminal hole. Uh, but the, but his, that's not his objective. His objective mm. is purely political at this point. Uh, politics don't work in a courtroom, as I think he's finding out in the mm. New York Attorney General's case in New York, a civil case. And, and that's going to continue in his criminal trials. Don't you just love it? Jen Psaki there, Peppermint Patty nodding along. The one who's going to get deposed, that's right, in Missouri v. Biden. She's going to have to come clean about how she colluded with big tech, media outlets, and social media to censor conservatives on issues like the election and COVID. And before that, they were colluding with big tech in the Hunter Biden laptop. When Goldman talks about politics not working well in the judiciary, that's not necessarily true. I mean, the trial that's taking place in New York wouldn't have happened without politics. I've covered that ad nauseum. You can go back and check my Trump playlist on all of the details that we've uncovered on Engeron and Letitia James. But fortunately, in Missouri v. Biden, politics is not working and the judge is sticking by the rule of law. And these people who have enjoyed carte blanche censoring abilities and a one-sided narrative aren't going to enjoy it any longer. But his rhetoric is really getting dangerous, more and more dangerous. And we saw what happened on January 6th when he uses inflammatory rhetoric now. And his recent True Social post uh, is incredibly, incredibly scary for anyone uh, that might be trying to op work in government. And um, it is just uh, uh, unquestionable at this point that that man cannot see public office again. He is not only unfit, he is destructive to our democracy, uh, and he has to be uh, he has to be eliminated. That's right. You just heard Representative Dan Goldman from New York's 10th call for President Trump to be eliminated after he censured Rashida Tlaib for her comment. These people are truly nuts. But what's driving him so mad? It's poll numbers like this. Trump plus four, Trump plus six, Trump plus six, Trump plus six. And no way he loses the nomination. And understanding that they're projectocrats and they continue to talk about how authoritarian Trump would be and how he wouldn't allow a peaceful transfer of power, yet he did. What are their plans going to be when Trump wins this so big, the vote tolls are so high that they can't deny it? Have a responsibility to, to really to tune out the voices of of the haters of of the people that are constantly uh, double shilling and triple for checking and shilling for him and suggesting Sick. that somehow they're being biased, bending over backwards, treating him like a normal candidate. He's not a normal candidate. He is running to end American democracy as we know it. He's an authoritarian who a, a court uh, in in Colorado two days ago ruled that that he led an insurrection against the United States government. That's a lie. The court didn't rule that. The court actually ruled that Trump could be on the ballot. They had no other ruling. That was what they had to rule on. Now, the judge may have written something about that in her decision because she's a leftist hack judge and wanted political cover, but never did she rule on that. He's charged with leading schemes to help overthrow the United States government. This shows you just how unserious these people are. Joe Scarborough probably still believes the PP tape hoax. Russia collusion, still thinks Trump's guilty of documents and Biden isn't. These people are nuts. So so if they want to frame it uh, that way, that's fine. If, if you want to be fair. This dude has no interest in fairness. If you want to be fair, then you will frame this uh, as uh, Joe Biden being the candidate that supports American democracy and Donald Trump, a candidate who supports a new form of government here that's authoritarian. It's really that simple. And by the way, Reverend Allen, people go, oh, you can't compare him he to past kidding. Nazi leaders. You can't compare him to this past Nazi leader or that past fascist leader because he hasn't done that. Well, what hasn't he done? He hasn't done the things that the American judicial system did not allow him to do last time, but may very well allow him to do this time or 
a judicial system that will be ignored by Donald Trump and ran over by Donald Trump to create the greatest constitutional crisis of our lifetimes. Just because he hasn't done it yet doesn't mean he won't do it when he gets a chance to do it. Do you remember when Donald Trump got elected and the economy just took off like that? In fact, I talked to a major manufacturing facility, actually a repair facility for a major manufacturer, and they told me that when Donald Trump got elected, it was like a switch. Just like that, it turned on. They went from being partially empty in their service bays to being more than full and backed up. Donald Trump did more to protect our freedom as citizens than anyone else I can remember. So for this joker to go on there and talk about Trump's authoritarianism, when we're seeing that play out right now with FBI raids on people's homes who walk through the Capitol, it's completely disingenuous. And he knows that. But they're projecting. They project on you what they are or the very things that they would do if they were in Donald Trump's position. Just think, if Joe Biden had been mercilessly hunted by the DOJ, prosecuted 91 indictments over nothing burger, how do you think Joe Biden would react? We see how he's reacting now when none of that's even happened. It's and if he is well. voted into office, then a lot of these people that are talking about literal or figurative or whatever the hell they're saying, you're going to look like idiots uh, because he will do he will get away with, he will imprison, he will execute whoever he's allowed to imprison, execute. What did he just say? He would execute? He would imprison? This is hyperbole at level 11, folks. Remember, turn it up to 11? This is nuts. To think that, I mean, he didn't even lock up Hillary Clinton much to our chagrin. Somebody who had guilt all over. We had the proof. We had the emails. All of it. And he wouldn't even lock her up. The fact is that Trump never took on the authoritarian tone that they continue to project upon him. And now they expect us to believe this. The only people who buy this are MSNBC and CNN flunkies. And their audience that continues to take in a steady diet of this nonsense. It is absolutely insane. Whoever... He's allowed to imprison, execute, uh, 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 drive from the country. J just look at his past. It's not really hard to read. The only, again, the only thing that stood between him and the destruction of American democracy was the federal judiciary. No doubt about it. And there he goes with the charges of Trump will execute, Trump will imprison again. And Al Sharpton sits there and soaks it up like a thirsty dog lapping from a dish. Just remember, everything that they are saying is projection. What they are saying Trump will do is exactly what they will do. That has been proven consistently. The states with the biggest lockdowns were Democrat-controlled states. The cities with the biggest lockdowns were Democrat-controlled cities. The cities with the highest crime rates are Democrat-controlled cities. The cities with the strictest gun laws are Democrat-controlled cities. It's nuts out there. Get ready, people, because I don't know what this year is bringing. But I do know how you can get a good night's sleep. You can go to MyPillow.com, use promo code LUMBERJACK, get yourself some great pillows, sheets, or some towels, man. I don't know. Look, Christmas is coming. For the liberals on your list, Get him some my pillow products. They're the best products. Say, hey, you don't have to like his politics, but these are great products. I'm telling you, probably sent him through the roof. Anyway, smash that like on your way out and subscribe if you're new. Peace out.